What's up everyone? Welcome to your 45 minute legs and glutes boot camp. We've got some supersets today, so two exercises back to back, 45 seconds of work per exercise and three rounds through those two. We're gonna target quads in the first half of the workout and then glutes in the second half of the workout. A couple pieces of optional equipment. Of course, you only need your dumbbells for every workout with us, but if you have a bench or a box, a stability ball or sliders for hamstring curls, glute bands, and then your kettlebells, you can bring any or all of those out with you. But as always, just grab your dumbbells, your water, and your sweat towel, and let's crush it. All right, let's go hands on your hips, reach it back. Get a good stretch. Hamstrings and glutes and quads. We're gonna work hard today. So let's get warm and ready. Two minutes here. Next one, come up, reach your hands out front, sit back and down. Got my glute bands, I've got my box. You can grab a bench if you have that or a chair. And then I've got kettlebells out today. Only thing you're really gonna need is dumbbells, but if you have those accessories, you can pull them out. I also have my stability ball. If you have sliders or towels or anything like that, we're gonna do hamstring curls with that one. All right, heels to glutes. Let's open it up a little bit. Good job. And then we're gonna grab and pull. Just a little bit deeper in the quads. Three rounds of two exercises today, back to back. 45 second work periods. I like to do that in a lower body workout day so you have time to progress your challenges, to get into each rep nice and wide. Let's bend and straighten. Cross your arms over your chest. We're gonna start off with a bow tie squat, very similar to a goblet squat, where well, it's right out front, but instead of holding it upright, we're gonna hold one of each end of the dumbbell, okay? After that, we're gonna go heels up, sumo, deadlift, okay? So let's go in 10 seconds with your bow tie squats. Big exhale, two, one, let's go. Good work, keep your chest up. Make sure your elbows don't pull back as you sit. Okay, keep them up. Good job. Ten. One more, three, and breathe. Now I want you to grab the other dumbbell to that one. We've got sumo deadlift, so lifting from the ground, heels are up, really pushing into the ball of your foot, okay? Two, one, let's go. Good job. This just makes it a little bit more quad dominant. Good, 20 seconds. We've got these two for two more rounds after we finish up here. One more, four. Good job. Now let's try to progress that, okay? So second round, if you can go heavier, let's go. We go in six. Whoa, two, <laughs> one, let's go. Good, back and down, core is tight, chest is up. With the front rack hold, if you're asking your back 
to work a little bit harder versus if you had a back rack, it would kind of sit there a little easier for you, right? So we're strengthening in a lot of different ways here. 10. One more, two. Good job, there we go. Back to the sumo stance. All right, heels up, and if you can't do heels up, just push a little bit harder into the floor with the ball of your foot. Ready? Let's get it. Good work. Before you lift up, make sure back isn't rounded, but it is turned on, okay? So lats are locked in. Fifteen, good job. One more. Good work. All right, I'm gonna leave those there for the last round of my sumos and go up in my bow tie hold, but I'm also gonna add a glute band. All right, four. All right, let's go. Great work, keep the dumbbell close. And you'll notice first half of the workout, a little more quad focused. Second half, a little more glute work. Three. And breathe. Great work. All right, sumo. And then we'll take a 30 second breather. Move on to some single leg work. Three. Let's go. Good job. Back is turned on. It's strong so your legs can lift. Twenty. Twelve. Four. And breathe. Whew. All right, let's go. Kicking off the workout exactly how we should. Pushing hard, grab water. We're going left leg forward lunge for exercise one, step out, heel toe and back. If you're not ready for the step out yet, just right here, okay? Let's go in eight seconds. I'm gonna start with my 15, work my way up. I'm holding in the opposite hand, hold whichever one you want. Let's go. Good, heel toe. Heel touches down before the toe, so you're not stopping short, okay? Sit down behind that front heel. And if you're not ready for that, you're either staying here or this fret leg is your squat leg. There's just a stagger, okay? This is option number three. And breathe, good job. Same thing, other leg, that's exercise two. Okay, so lots of single leg focus here. Three. Let's go. A lot of people ask about 
different balance or strength levels between arms or legs. One feels stronger than the other. That's okay. Just think of one as working a little harder so that you don't extend that imbalance. You actively work on it. You may have to coach yourself a little bit more through the technique, right? Keep your knee out, heel toe, chest is up. That's okay. Five. Two. Yeah, good job, there we go. If those felt pretty good, let's jump up. All right, back to the left leg, or leg number one. Two, one, step it out. Good job. Trust your front leg. If you get out there and panic and start to try and reach back with your upper body, it's just not gonna be as effective. And just a little bit too much work for your core. Trust the leg, wait, it's loaded. It's gonna push you back, okay? Eight. Rest, good job. And if that's something you're working on, may go down to body weight, right? You can also use this. Something else, right here, okay? But just work on trusting and using that front leg. Let's go. Great work, 15. Seven. And breathe. All right, last round. If those felt pretty good, let's go up. Left leg, last time through each one. Then we move on. Let's go. Core is strong. Back is also turned on, okay? Don't bend over your quad. Keep it strong. Even if it's slanted, it's not rounded. Good job, seven. Two, yes, good job. Same thing, last 45, other leg, then we'll go step ups and single leg squats, okay? So use your box or your bench up next. Three, two, let's get it. Exhale. Trust it, come on. Be patient, load it up. Trust it to get you back up. Great job, 12. Five, come on, just a little bit more. Three, two, oh, breathe. Amazing. We've got step ups. You're alternating left, right, left, right. If you don't have a box, you're doing forward lunges. Okay, then single leg squats, also alternating. Okay, I'm gonna start with my 
20s. Ready? Big step. Five. Come on. Really great way to target the quads. Single leg work like this. Get full extension out of one leg before you bring the other one up. So if you're getting halfway in bailing, then standing, lower the resistance. Or step on a lower step. You gotta be able to go all the way up one leg, then the other one comes at the top. 12. And breathe. All right, dumbbells out of the way. Your single leg squats don't have to be on a bench. They can also be here, okay? If you're working on building that strength, be smart, push yourself. Let's go. Keep your knee out. So if you're squatting and your knee caves in, keep it out. Turn the glute on a little more. Nine. Last one. Two. Breathe. Step ups, round two. Let's go. Heavier if you can, down if you need to. Three. Let's go. Power it up. Make sure you get your heel on the box or bench as well, not just your toe. Five. And rest. Single leg again. Step this up by maybe adding resistance, holding dumbbells at your side. Ready? Let's go. Also, if you're seated and rolling back and then rolling forward, try just the tap down. Lean for, far away from the box, touch, boom. Okay. There you go, you're getting stronger. 14, 13. Last one. Beautiful. One more round. All right, come on. Big deep breath, you got this. Four. Let's go. One more tip that really helps me focus that front leg work is as soon as my back leg comes off the ground, I think about pulling my toe up towards my shin. So I'm not pushing so much. I'm leaning forward, pushing here, and that back leg is just lifting with my hips. Okay, try it out. There you go. Rest. All right, let's close it out. 
Always metrics of progress, right? Always things to challenge you. Push yourself. You gotta know how to push yourself. Ready, let's go. Get uncomfortable here and be comfortable with that. Trust your hips to go backwards, okay? Don't just bend your knee first. Good, now slow down on the eccentric. One more, seven. Last one, two. And breathe. Oh, good work. Hamstring curls and fire hydrants. If you have your bands, go ahead and grab them for fire hydrants and you can just keep them on for hamstring curls, okay? All right, we're starting with hamstring curls, then fire hydrants. Ready? Sliders, ball, if you don't have either of those, bridge. Two, let's go. Good. If you feel yourself starting to get bent hipped, that's a word, squeeze your glutes at the bottom a little bit tighter together, then lift. Everything from hips to knees should be flat. Good job, 15. Seven. Breathe. Move the ball or the sliders. Flip over. Alternating. Left, right, left, right. Okay, I like to go down on my elbows for a little bit more of a stretch. Two. Let's go. I have my medium band on. You can gauge after this round. You wanna go up, you wanna go down, so you wanna stay right here. Knee and toe, lift. Beautiful work, 20. Seven. Two. Good. Flip it back over. I like this little priming combo before we jump into deadlifts, glute bridges. Gets our glutes really turned on. And our hamstrings. Two, one, come on. Nineteen. Pull, 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 come on. Ten. Three. Good. The burn starts to really set in, huh? All right. Let's go, fire hydrants. Drop the elbows. Two. Come on. You want to challenge yourself a little more. Slow down both parts of this movement. Lift two, down two. Eight. Whew. 
Two. Good. Last round of both. All right, come on, big deep breath. Three. Here we go. Up. Six. Last one. Oh, rest the fire. <laughs> okay. Move that ball out of the way. Launch it. You can throw it if that's how you feel about it right now. I get it. <laughs> Four. Last round of hydrants. Two. One. <sighs> Great work. Hip extension and abduction, really powerful parts of priming your glutes and working your glutes for hip stabilization. We're working the muscles for hip stabilization. Great work, come on, 20. Ten. Four. Breathe. 30 seconds. Leave your band on. Okay, we've got step out banded RDLs. Okay, so dumbbells or kettlebell. I'm gonna leave it here, step out, drive up and back. Okay, second one, just abduction, okay? I'm gonna use my kettlebell for this one. All right, step out RDLs. Let's go. And with the step out, when you do your deadlifts, make sure it's not just yanking in on your knees. Actively drive out as you hinge. Last one, three, rest. Now you can either hold on to something like a wall or you can just stand, alternating left, then right. Three, two, exhale. I would love for you to look down at your toe so that you don't find yourself leaning that lift, okay? A little bit of bend in the knee. Wait until you're steady on this leg before you lift, because it can easily look like this. Thirteen. Breathe. All right, grab water. Two more rounds of that. Then we'll move into the last three exercises, a superset, and then glute bridges. Lots of power, lots of resistance, okay? Let's go.
10. Breathe. All right, standing hip abductions. Let's close out round two, right here. Let's go. Lead with the heel, even if you need to close your eyes. Don't lean, lead with the heel. Burn's gonna set in, you're gonna feel fatigue there pretty quickly. Keep pushing. Lift away, lift away. Keep the toe pointed straight ahead. Drive it up, two and rest. We got one more round of both. If you can go heavier, now's your time. All right, remember, turn your back on before you lift. Three, two. Knees drive out. Hips drive forward. Good, think of the back corner of your glutes, right? Think of that very back corner, stretch it, squeeze it. Four. One more, come on, three. And rest. All right, move that out of the way for now. One last round of abductions. Five. Let's go. Look right down in front of you. I'll keep you updated on time. Okay, look right in front of your toes. Feel your body stabilize and drive. Great job. You're into the second half already. <sighs> 10. Lift the heel, lift the heel, stay straight. Four, three, two, last one, and you finished with that one. Get the band off, grab water. We've got kettlebell swings and alternating Romanian deadlifts, okay? Kettlebell swings, I want you to go three and rest. All right, one, two, three, set it back on the ground, reset. This is a power move, so I need you to have rest in between every couple sets. Three swings and rest. Then, alternating deadlifts, okay? Let's go. Take the heels in, scoop, drive. Good job. 10. Four. Rest. Good. Deadlifts. Alternating. You can either lift the back leg or you can just stagger it. Four. important here to not let your upper body twist. 
Okay, so if you're here, shoulder is dropped, low back is twerked a lot to where you want it to be nice and flat. Okay, no twisting here. Bend straight back, come straight back up. Whatever hand you hold it in, totally up to you. Three. Breathe. Good work. All right, round two. Same thing. Three and reset. Six. Two. Let's go. Good job, vertical shins, meaning you don't sit down anymore. Shins stay straight up. You go back and forward. Seven. And breathe. Good job. Alternating deadlifts. Good job, let's finish out round two. Two, one, come on. Back is strong, you got 10. Breathe. One more round of both of those, and then we've got glute bridges to finish it off. Okay. Here we go, four. Step up to it and go, two, one. Stay strong in your back. Come on, power the glutes. 14. Last set, you got six, five. Rest. Single leg deadlifts. One last round. Three, back is turned on, let's go. And you can do these however you want. If you wanna lift, you wanna take it from the ground. Come on, breathe deep. 10. One more, four. Rest. Whew. Grab your heavy band, grab some heavy weights. We got four rounds of glute bridges. That's it, okay? Four rounds straight glute bridges. If you want to throw your shoulders on the bench, that's fine. That'll give you a little bit more depth. Come on. Five. This is our last exercise. Let's go.
17, 16. Four. Breathe. There's a reason I saved these for last. You are a lot stronger in this movement than you think you are. You've done a lot of work today. I still want you pushing heavy weight, heavy resistance on your legs. You're gonna surprise yourself with your strength. And I need to show you that here. Let's go. Everything is keeping your core protected. Ribs, hips, they're locked in together. Glutes are squeezing as hard as they possibly can towards each other. Okay, so they're not just squeezing up. They're squeezing towards each other, which will lift your hips up. Twelve. Rest. Two down, two to go. Come on, if you can go up any, let's do it. Stronger, stronger, stronger. That's all we're doing here. Getting stronger, believe that. Three, two, exhale. Perfect, 10. Rest, come on, you got this. Breathe, relax for a second. Come on, big exhale, four. Dig your heels, lift. I know you're tired. I know it's easy to lose focus right now. Tap back in, okay? Breathe. Squeeze. Good. 14. Come on, don't stop, don't stop. Four. Beautiful. Let's go one more round, you ready? One more time through. One last time. You can do this. Midway through, we're just gonna hold, okay? Two, one, lift it up right here. Up and down. Give me 20 seconds here, and then I'm gonna give you the last 25 to hold, okay? Come on, you can do this. Ready? One more. On your next one, lift up. Hold. And we stay here. Beautiful job. 15. Can you take your knees out? Out. Out. Yes, you can. We're doing it together. Don't drop. Now bring him back to the normal place. Up. For four, three, two, one. And now you can rest and you've made it to your cool down. <sighs> Flip over onto your stomach. Before you head out today, give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and comment below that you made it. Hope you have a great day. I wanna let you know how much I love you for crushing this workout with me. <sighs> Tuck your chin, lift your hips, reach them back. Thank you for pushing me today. Very proud of you for pushing yourself today. We did not take the easy way out and that's something to be proud of. 
you get stronger, you get more confidence through being comfortable in your discomfort. Okay, lift the hips up, drive the heels to the ground. A lot of times we wait for mission accomplished or goal achieved to be proud of ourselves. Walk back to your toes. Little do you know, you're achieving so much along the way. You're flexing your confidence muscle. And every time you push yourself through uncertainty, maybe I can go heavier, that confidence muscle gets stronger and you start to believe in yourself a little more. Bend your knees, roll it up nice and slow, which is vital, especially for glute strength, especially for fitness in general, okay? So, hips side to side. Keep flexing your confidence muscle. Keep flexing what I believe is the biggest form of self-love, and that's pushing yourself, being honest with yourself, okay? Loving yourself is not always doing what's comfortable. It's sometimes being brutally transparent with your reality. Hey, Sydney, how hard are you really working? How much are you truly dedicating to your nutrition, to your profession, to your hydration, whatever it might be? Self-love is honesty, and sometimes honesty doesn't feel great, but it feels good once you start accepting where you are and saying, okay, you know what? I do have potential. I'm not just stuck without answers. I do have potential. And that, in my opinion, is the biggest form of self-love. So, gentle push on your hips forward. Big exhale. And as you leave today, Keep loving yourself in the way that says, I respect what I want so much that I'm working for that version of me to come to life right now, okay? I love you so much. Great job today, great work, great pushes today. Make sure you give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and comment below what you thought of this workout. I'll see you back here for our next one.